Hey apes, today let's talk about research for your critical lens. Um, so you're going to work on uh, the Jefferson County Public Library website, and hopefully you have your library card ready, handy. Um, so I find that the easiest way to get to the database that's going to be the best for you is to click on online library and then go to teens. I may have also linked this page in Schoology or Google Classroom, whatever. Um, you're going to go to language arts and literature because we're in our language arts class. And then the best one that's on here is the Literature Resource Center. This is a Gale database and it's pretty good. Um, so you're going to go ahead and click that. It's going to ask you to sign in because you have to have a library card to be able to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in and I'm going to put in my pin and then I'm going to log in. So uh, this then takes you to the Literature Resource Center, this Gale database. That was weird. Okay, now, now we're at the Literature Resource Center. Here we go. And uh, then you can start doing your search. So I'm just going to search like psychological. If I can spell psychological. And I'm going to search for heart of darkness. Let's, let's fix this. All right, perfect. Here we go. So we're going to search. And we're just going to, you're going to have to do a lot of different searches and um, try a lot of different search terms, try a lot of different things. And then you can filter your results if you want to. What I usually do if I'm going to filter my results is I go by document type. Because sometimes, like, I don't, I don't want excerpts, but essays, articles, critical essays, I probably want. So I'll just go ahead and click these. And then I can click apply and it'll get rid of ones that I, I don't really need. Um, and then let's just say for some reason I want this one. I don't, maybe I don't, but you're going to click on it. You're going to start looking at, uh, you know, kind of scanning through the article. And then you'll say, oh, I really, I really like this. I want this article. So uh, you can download it right here and it'll download as a PDF. And then you can, um, uh, you can then, you know, use it in Kami and annotate it in Kami. And then the other thing I want to show you is at the very bottom of all these articles is the source citation. Um, so you want MLA and then you can just like select this and then copy and paste it into your document where you're keeping all of your, um, you know, resource sources, research sources. And uh, you can you can just, you know, they've already done the work for you. You can plug this in to your citation tool in Google Docs and then you'll be able to cite it just easy. Um, those two buttons are also up here in this top bar. So here's the download button and the cite button. So if I click this, it just pulls that up and I can download it as a PDF as well right there. Um, so like I said, lots of different search terms, but I just wanted to show you the tools in uh, you know Literature Resource Center so that you can start doing um, your research. And, and the big idea that we need to remember is that research means reading. Um, and so a lot of times students go, well, I can't find anything. Well, sometimes you need to read articles that aren't necessarily by the title look like they're going to work for you, but then you might actually find something, right? Like research and, and writing research papers and doing research projects, it's just a lot of reading. And you have to just sit and read and figure out if something's going to work. And sometimes you read something and you go, you know, this doesn't work for me. I don't need this source at all. I kind of wasted some time. That's the research process. Um, so if you have any questions about using Gale Literature Resource Center, let me know. And good luck researching. Bye.